Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to spot a fake Cactus Trails 270 by Travis Scott. Okay, so I have purchased two different pairs of Travis Scott 270s, one real, one fake, and today I'm gonna to be explaining and showing you how to spot a fake pair, because there are so many sellers out there, so many resellers that are just not selling real sneakers. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, let's move over to the couch. So we have the real pair on the right hand side, which I bought from StockX uh, pre-release actually. And I've got a fake pair here, which are from DH Gate. I ordered them from the website probably about four months ago now. This has arrived much later than I had anticipated. So hence why you're getting a review now. So to kick things off, what can you tell from the boxes straight away? Well, the left hand side, which is the fake, is a lot darker than the actual real box, as you can tell with the coloring. Uh, besides that, you have the labels. So this is the real label here and the fake. You can tell that there's a little mark over here on the barcode, which does kind of give it away that maybe something is afoot. So what I've done is I've actually got myself one of these uh, black lights, which I got from Instagram. Really, really handy to have one of these. They cost like 10 pounds. You put an AA battery in there and you can basically check boxes for marks, um, any sort of tags um, that have been put on. Real pairs rarely have anything on the boxes. Fake pairs usually have some kind of manufacturing tag that appears on the box. So let's have a look. You can tell here, look, there are two very clear round circle tags on the side of that. On the real, that shouldn't exist. I'm hoping it doesn't exist. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Right, so let's open up the boxes and see what's inside. So straight away, you can tell there's a difference. So the real tissue paper will have Cactus Jack trails written on it with a kind of very light yellow creamy tissue paper and on this fake pair we have I don't even know what language that is to be honest but it's not got cactus trails it's got a bit on it let's pull these back and get the shoes out okay so again very clearly you can tell here that the colors look very different you have the real on the right hand side and the fakes on the left. So let's take these out of the box. So yeah, excuse the hat and the hair. I'm getting to the point now where I need a haircut, I need to see my barber so badly. This needs attention. And I said I wasn't gonna be one of these YouTubers um, to talk about my haircut, but it's really getting out of control now. I'm praying for hairdressers soon. Um, okay, so you can tell, like I said, the colors of these sneakers look very, very different. Just overall, this is a darker shoe than this in pretty much everything. Um, it's most noticeable around the midsole and outer sole where this is a light gold and this is kind of like a, a light orange or a dark, dark gold. Uh, even the upper as well looks very different. This is much lighter than that. So probably first thing to look at would be the overall color. If you don't have a real pair to use as reference, then uh, let's look at the detail. So you can tell from the back straight away, and like I said, the midsole, this is much, much darker. Uh, this is also the removable paint on the real pair. On the fake pair, I'm not even sure that this is removable. I will try, I'll give it a go in a minute, see if it actually comes off. I doubt very much that they've actually taken the time to do that. Um, you can also tell on the upper, like I said, that this on the real pair is very light, whereas if you look at the fake, you've got these lines that run all the way against the kind of pattern um, all across the upper, which just looks wrong. That the actual materials used on the front for each are very different. So the real pair, this really nice kind of brown, dark brown leather with the Nike swoosh on the, on the side, which looks really cool. Um, it feels sort of quite sturdy. Whereas this, I mean, this doesn't even look like leather. I, I'm pretty sure this is pleather or some sort of fake version of leather. It feels really light and thin so like you can probably feel your toes really easily through that and also just the leather on the top the laces again it's just a different material 
you can tell that it just looks different. This is, again, pleather rod, I think that is real leather. So if you look at the real pair, the Nike swooshes, as you'd expect, looks quite nice, good detail. I really like this kind of fleecy material that they used on the side there, it looks really nice. On the fake, you've got the Nike swooshes skinny friend. I mean, this isn't even really a swoosh, is it? It's kind of like a, it's just a really thin line here. So they've messed up there, haven't they? So you can see actually on the real pair, on the inside of the shoe, you've got the tag inside with all of your sizing details and manufacturing details. On the fake pair, you have that on the tongue, which is not meant to be there. The inner soles look very similar. Um, got the cactus jack on the side and the inside there. The only difference is probably the positioning of the two. This one runs down a bit closer to the heel less so these are the same size as well so um, everything should be the same maybe let's give this a try to try and remove this paint see what happens okay so I've got my wipe and the shoe let's see what comes off if anything nothing's coming off so yeah another telltale sign is that your removable paint is not really removable so I thought what I would do is actually just try and put these on feet and see you know whether or not these are actually any good from a comfort perspective because you know there are still a pair of shoes they're still 160 pounds and people might like to wear them and also we can check the sizing as well having just put this on and jumped up and down a tiny bit i can tell straight away that they are very different in terms of comfort the sizing is exactly the same. Like from a sizing perspective, this is pretty much bang on the fake. So you can tell that on the fake pair, that these are just not real Nikes. Um, they're not real air bubbles. It's just kind of cheap. It feels quite hard on the heel when you walk, which is not very comfortable to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, another reason why not to buy a fake pair of these. Okay, so that's it from me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Reach. If you've enjoyed my video, then please drop me a comment and a like down below. It means the absolute world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.